Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Rise of the Beast Cheetor. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on turn on notifications, and must know uploads. And give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. So with that all out of the way, let's begin. So I got we start off with the packaging. Here it is, you can see a nice image of Cheetor in his Cheetah mood. The Cheetor Transformers. You can see number 98. Oh my gosh. The Cheetor. I said it's Cheetor. So they're both robot mode and it's Cheetah mode. And on the back of the box, you can see them. Both in his robot mode and in his Cheetah form. And one thing which I need to mention here. Yeah, not only all these figures, besides Quark, I have text, but this one. And, and spoiler, because I don't think it may give like a key to the movie, but really interesting. Cheetor and the Maximals team, team team up with the Autobots to protect the Transwarp keys. Or key, I should say. Huh. So, I don't know what the transfer art keys really gonna do in, in the movie. Just have to wait and see. But yeah, that's it for the packaging. So, here we have Cheetor in his Cheetah mode. And he is um, he is awesome. And for the very first live action Maximal we got in the Sui series line, he looks awesome. Yeah. Take a closer look at the details at the head, and it's quite hard to tell, but he does have green eyes, brown with some gray dots all over him to tell. Yeah, pretty cool looking chimo. I just don't like, you can see the robot hands. The only thing I don't like, I wish there was like a way for it to hide more, but I don't care underneath. Yeah, cool Cheetah mode. And uh, for articulation wise, his head can only move up and down. Oops, that far. He does have an opening mouth. His arms can only move up that far. It can move back that far. They can rotate. There's a bend, and his claws can move up and down. And there's a rotation. And enough for the back of the legs. Legs move back only that far. But they can move up only that far. No rotation. Well, there's a bend at the foot. Uh, and yeah. And I guess a little bit of ankle pivot. But yeah. So, so for weaponry. Does come with... Two daggers, and which is cool because you can also plug them together to form a little a staff or a spear or a spear. Sorry, yeah. And for storage, two slots in here where these tabs on both of them will just plug into so. Yes, both of them store. Do this on off camera. Yeah, and yeah, one shorter than the other. Oh yeah. So now, last thing to also get down to transformation is the size comparisons, or just now it's time for size comparisons. Here he is, and here's my previ my previous review to the series Rise of the Beast or C. And yeah, Cheetor is big and tall. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, wrong figure. All right. And next up, here we have Optimus Primal from Kingdom, of course. Ah, they look pretty good together. Here he is with, you know. 
Kingdom Shadow Panther. Which, because I don't have Cheetor. Kingdom Cheetor. But since Shadow Panther is literally just repaint, so. Yeah. Here he is next to the series Brawl. Here he is next to Studio Series Ironhide. Oh yeah, pickup truck. Oh yeah. So now let's get down to transformation. So that's yes, now for transform. Oh yeah. So first thing we want to do, obviously, remove his weaponry. And but for okay. Now for first thing we want to do is first come here. The underneath of the head. I want to take this panel. Bring it outwards. I'll bring it up. Like so. After that, I come here to the arms. Tab them. Bring them out. After that, I want to take the claws. Bring them down. I want to rotate the whole thing around. Take this back panel. Rotate it to the side. Take the hand. Rotate it. And yeah, there you have one arm all done. Do the same one to the opposite side. Rotate. Around the claw, rotate the hand, and rotate the shoulder pad, or rotate the sides. And yeah, there you have his arms all done. Next thing I want to do is come here, take this whole back section, bring it up, take the legs, bring them back. Then what you want to do is come here, take the robot mode foot. Bring it down, do this whole thing, angle it like that. Whole thing, bring it back. Then I want to take this whole, th I want to take this part, shift it, bring it forward. This panel, tab it, bring it all the way down. And it should just tab in. Take this whole bottom section of the leg, rotate it around. Then there you have one leg all done. Do the same on to the outside and on the foot, straighten out. The feet, take the whole bottom section, bring it back, this whole thing, bring it forward, bring down this panel, tap that in, and rotate it. And then there you have his legs all done. So now what you want to do, take this whole thing, bring this part forward, bring this part back. I'm going to take the robot mode head. You want to first Untap it here. Then I want to take this whole thing, bring it down. And I want to take the robot mode, take the cheetah head down. Then take this whole thing. Uh, come on. And you just want to feed it through the chest, which don't know why doesn't want to. So, okay. Here. I want to bring up the head as well. Take, then you want to just stick the whole thing. And I don't know why this is fighting. It's never fought me before. There we go. There we go, and then you know, hold on, I'll be back once I got it in. So I just realized, <laughs> sorry, you're supposed to bring this whole thing down, and there, and it will just tap right in. So just. Tab that in, then you can take the whole thing up, whole back section, tab in, front section, tab it in, bring down the arms, and there you have Cheetor in his row bot mode. So now let's take a closer look at the head sculpt. Uh, 
pretty nice looking high school. It's a green eyes, the maximal symbol on his chest. Oh, one thing. <laughs> you want to bring his hotel somewhere up. Like that. There you go. Now, I have him full his robot mode. So, uh, man, I'm missing in steps today. Wow. Yeah. Nice gunmetal gray. The claws. But in the trailer, that uh, where where they end up is totally accurate. Now the back, a really clean looking backpack. Like I wish there's a way for this tail to go somewhere. Like oh, but hey, I don't know. He could, don't know. He could have have his his beast mode tail. On his back, I don't know. We never see saw him. We didn't see that. We didn't see really a good look of his back in in the trailer. But yeah, so articulation wise, his head. I'm, I want to say it's on the ball joint. It can look up. It can look up that far. He can look down that far. His arms do a full 360. They can move out the shoulder pad. Out that far in the arm can go out far as well. That really helps. Rotation. There's a bend. His hand can rotate. His claws move up and down. He does have a waist swivel. His legs can move up that far. They can move back that far. There's a rotation. For me, it's pretty tight. Bend at the knee. And there's also a forward one, which... Yeah, and he does have ankle pivot, and his feet can only move up. Yeah, a pretty solid articulation. So now for the weaponry, oh, he's gonna soar on his back, like in beast mode, or you can make him hold it. You can hold it by having one on each hand, or I, or you can just. Combine the two to make them um, have like a sphere or a spear. I can't even talk today as well. So yeah, but yeah, pretty cool. And now for size comparison, so let me just remove this weapon. So now for size comparisons, here he is. Here he is with my previous view to the series Rise. Of the beast RC. It is with Kingdom Optimus Primal. Here it is with Kingdom Shadow Panther. Here he is with the series Brawl. And last but not least, here he is with Ironhide. Yeah, so now last thing to show off is the included display base. Set your door off to the side. And yeah. My guess, I have two guesses. One, that's the Maximal Slayers, layer or base, I should say, or it's the place where Optimus Primal was talking to Optimus Prime in the first trailer. But yeah, you can just put Cheetor right there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for the backdrop. So now let's get back down to transformation. So, first thing you want to do is to come here to the legs. Take this panel, bring it up like so. Want to now take the whole leg. I'm going to take the bottom portion of the leg. Bring it back till it snaps in place or pegs in place. Bring the whole foot forward. Take this whole... I want my foot, bring it up. Like so. 
Then after that, you can take the whole leg, rotate it around, and you want to also bring up this whole back section, like so. Then after that, come here. There is a tiny tab right in there that will plug into a slot. It's right there. So, thing. Once you just tab into place, take the hole. Then I want to move the legs so this will go right inside the hole. So, like so. Take this whole foot or leg, bring it down. And there you have one leg all done. Do all the same steps on to the opposite side. So, bring up his foot. I mean, not his foot. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Bring up, whole, bring up this section up. Want to take this whole leg section, bring it back, bring it, bring this whole foot section down. Take a up mode foot, and bring it up. After that, then you want to just rotate it, tap that in, bring this whole section up, bring this whole leg some way down. Then there you have his legs all done. Then you want to take this whole section, want to bring it down. This tab. Right here, we'll go in to the flight stand port. So, that in, take the whole tail, bring it down. Like so. Then, after that, what you want to do, the arms, bring them forward. Then, now what you want to do, take the bottom portion of the arm, rotate it so it shows the mushroom peg. Take the hand, want to rotate it around so the claws are facing forward. Bring it, the claws up. Take this panel, then just rotate it inwards, like so. Yeah, there we have one. Oh, and meant to. I'm gonna rotate it so his claws matches up with that port. Yeah. So now I'll do all the same steps on the outside. So rotate, bring that back, up, rotate. So now what you want to do, you want to take this whole front and back section, bring it all back, take the head, bring it all the way up in here. This will just tab in, bring up the neck, take the head, bring it inward, tab that in, tab that in. Then the last thing to do, I mean, then want to take, so once you have all this closed up, want to take that tab and it will just plug into these slots. So, and want this gunmetal gray part to go inside. So, inside of this slot. So, gunmetal gray inside there. Bring it in. Then just tab it in. And then the last step, come in here. And this in. Then there you have the Rise of the Beast Cheetor back in his vehicle mode. So. Final thoughts, he is amazing, like, I like him, especially for, for the very first two series Maximal, in a live action form. So yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video, bye!